Um, call her Lord, you're Lord, you're Hawa, by Hashem, you're Hawa Shai, by Hashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the hopeful elect. Uh, this is uh, going to the book of Sirach, chapter 38, verse 24. It says, the wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure. So, you know, you gotta, we got to find balance within our lives to, to study, you know, to properly uh, understand the, the Bible, the Holy Scriptures. All right, so we got to uh, hone in and key in when we got those, those leisure opportunities, you know. It says, and he that have little business shall become wise. So a person that got little business, like you ain't got a lot of responsibilities, then you have more opportunities of leisure. All right, so you have more time to apply, your, apply yourself in your studies. But he, I, I'll read verse 24, uh, Salakia 25. It says, how can he get wisdom that holdeth the plow and that glorieth in the gold? Now, see, that's talking about work. You know, the plow, you know, the gold. Uh, it says, uh, and that, let me look up gold. I don't know exactly what a gold is. So let me look up gold. Yeah, it says gold, uh, it's like a pride. I guess it would be a, a, a spike, oh, okay, here you go. A spike stick used for driving cattle. So the things that you, you know, you hit them with or whatever, right? So it says, how can he get wisdom that holdeth the plow, all right? And that glorieth in the gold, that driveth ox, oxen, and is occupied in their labors, and whose talk is of bullocks, right? So this basically represents that you got a lot of business, all right? So how can you how can you have opportunity of leisure to study the scriptures when you got a lot of you got a lot of things going on, a lot of business going on? Now, some you know some men. Business is necessary. You might have a, a lot of business going on, but that business is necessary. All right, you know the Lord know that, but it's, it all it's all about how the effort you get to. Um, it's all about the effort you put in to knowing the Lord. All right, you 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 had to work sixteen hours, twelve hours, or whatever, or you got kids, or you got you know bills, and you got responsibilities, your, your woman, and etc. But you did all of that. But when you got some opportunity, you watch the movie. You played the game. You just sat there and did nothing, you know. But sometimes, you know, you you, you relax and everything. But it's it's a balance to it all. But it says, uh, "In whose talk is of bullocks, right?" So the scripture says, "Our conversation is supposed to be in the heavens." Let me get that. And if your conversation is in the heavens, that means that you always, you know, in the book, you always reading the Bible, you always dealing with something spiritual. All right, let me see. Conversation. Heavens. I spelled that wrong. Okay. Uh well, you know what? It's a it's a it's a scripture in Peter's that says uh uh right. So like you about that. Mmm. This first Peter 4 and 11, it says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the most high. So the, the, you know, that's all I want on that scripture. And simply put, speak with the words of the Lord, you know, speak with the words of the most high. In some way, shape or form, the scriptures and his wisdom and his knowledge is always either. If it ain't in the forefront of our mind, when we read and study or doing lessons and videos, it's in the back of our mind because we filtering, we filtering out our life through the scriptures, you know. But uh, I'll close it out with this scripture. Uh, let me see. This is uh, the book of Matthews. Matter of fact, let me see. It says... Uh, Matthew 12 and 34, it says, O generation of vipers, how can ye being evil speak, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So abundance means what, what, what consumes your mind? What's the main thing on your thought? All right. What's the main thing you processing in your head? That's what's going to come out of your mouth. All right. That's why it says uh, when you read the Sirach, Sirach 38 and 25, at the, end of the at the end of the verse, it said, and whose talk is of bullocks. 
All right. His talk is of bullocks. His talk is of work. That's representing work and business is because that's what his mind occupied with. You know, so basically this is like a, you know, a, a, an admonishment to myself. All, all these videos is to ourselves first, you know, and, you know, to, to, to brothers out there that uh, might, you know, because sometimes you get caught up, you know, you get caught up in, you know, you get caught up in uh, the, the pressures of everyday life. But, you know, this is a uh, matter of fact, I'll jump to uh, 39, uh, Sirach 39 and 1. It says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. So always remember, like, look, you, we got to we got to make time for the Lord. What, see what it really what it really is. The Lord and, and, and his wisdom. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. By Shem Kakudash. That should be our main. That's our that's our main business. All this other stuff we, we do, we should be scrambling to make time for that. You know, like Peter said, we have forsaken all. What should we have there by? Like we have forsaken all. Like to really forsake something. Now, like, of course, you, you know, take it like um, it's a balance. Ain't nobody saying quit your job, quit this, quit that. You know, quit this business. It's a balance. It's to be you so occupied in the Lord, you got to make time for all these other things. Not you so occupied in all those other things, you got to make time for the Lord. All right. If you got that mindset, you got to make time for everything else. Then you're going to be Sirach 39 and 1. But it's all the, the balance is in your leisure. All right. Some some people, you know, the necessities that they need may, may uh, require them to to have a lot of business. But that don't mean that you ain't going to have some leisure in there somewhere. But with that, you know, Lord willing, this was a, a edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. Call Halal Yimla Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai by Shimi Kakudash Shalom.